Man. <clears throat> Man. You know what? Let's kick it. You know, everybody talking about relationships. Well, not everybody. It's mostly, it's mostly a women thing. Most men then, then, then gave up on relationships. Yeah. To be honest with you, to be a heterosexual man right now, things never actually been fair. And it's getting way more unfair, you know? And I noticed something going on now. Everybody loves you until you guys are enemies. And I feel a couple of different ways about that. The main way I feel is people don't love you, especially when you're a man or male. We're going to take gender out of this, especially when you are dependable. When you're a dependable person, people think they love you. But really what they like is your dependability. When you're a popular person, people act like they love you. But really what they want is that status and notoriety from being around you. When you are... When you are a flawed person and people say they love you, most of the time they just want that challenge. Now, what ends up happening is when someone realizes you're not what they want or what they need, but you serve the purpose, then they're a lot more open to being your enemy. They're a lot more open to hurting you unnecessarily. They're a lot more open to go against you. Shit, they may even be open to killing you. And it's not you they hate. It's not even you they mad at. Whatever they got going on is an issue they had long before they met you. And what you're doing is exacerbating it. And the, probably the reason they picked you is because of the issues they had and before. And they're knowing that they're not going to have the main issues they had before with you. But where it gets lost at is it's not about you being the best you. It's about you being the best version of you for them. And this is where we are clashing at as relationships go. A guy I knew back in the gap. Motherfucker had 11 kids, man. 11 of how many? Eleven. Long story short, arguing with one of his baby mamas, having a disagreement or something like that. She goes for the knife. About to stick him with the knife. A street nigga can't turn his back on somebody with a knife. Can't even just walk away. Bad etiquette in some situations will save your life in others. In this situation, we're going to say it was bad etiquette. Gets the knife from her. She shoots him. Now, I can't speak for other people, but I, I'll speak for myself. My son's mother had her gun license before me. Did she want a gun license? No. Did she need one? No. You know who made her get that? Me. You know why? Because of the shit I was doing and plausible not plausible deniability for us both and a few other things. And then I realized, when I realized what I had done, then I wouldn't get mine. And, you know, she naturally wasn't trying to carry a gun every day anyway. She got other means of defense. However... I did need one. So with that being said, my woman was sent through, well, my son's mother was sent through an extensive amount of training, not just the gun class. You know what I'm saying? So 
she's not going to go for her gun in an argument. You know what I'm saying? She knows to keep it ready. But she's not going to just whip her gun out because she feels a way. But she had to be taught that. She had to be taught that. And a lot of us guys are putting not just guns. We putting our sperm in these women's hands and they ain't ready to handle it. We putting our money in these women's hands and they ain't willing. To, we are putting us in their hands. Having a real man in your life is like having a V12 motor. And every car is not built for a V12 motor. And that is why a lot of you women do not have men. That's just like having a good woman in your life. What do I want to compare this to? <laughs> oh, shit. Having a good woman in your life is like having a whole car. The best car you can imagine without a computer to run that motherfucker. But the car don't know it's missing a computer. It just knows it's the best car ever. And that's what it's like to have a good woman. And as men, when we got a good woman, we forgot, we forget that they still need that computer to be on deck. That they don't know they running without a computer. They just know they're the best car. And we start lessening what we giving into these situations. You know what I'm saying? As men. And we can all do better or not get involved. And then we can all pick better. You know what I'm saying? Instead of thinking about why somebody is with you, think about why you're with them. And if you're with them for any snakish reasons, they may be with you for the same. And that's what I want to leave you with. Whenever someone makes you feel a way, chances is you made them feel the same way. And fellas, don't get mad when a girl accuses you of cheating. Because nine times out of ten, the only type of woman that's accusing you of cheating is one that's cheating herself. So if you being accused of cheating, just automatically assume she's had another dick in her mouth recently. You might have dick breath in your nose right now. Let it go. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? We fight each other for things that's not worth having. A lot of these relationships, they were worth having when we had them, but now we don't have them. It's not worth it. So it's not nothing to fight for, even if you do have kids. Because we have been here. Oh, I stayed together for the kids. Them people was lying. Don't nobody stay together for the kids. And if you do, you're really lying to yourself because you're not helping the kids, trapping yourself in a messed up situation. And women, women, if you meet a guy, because women are like the same three dudes in the city. Let's just be real. If you meet a guy and he got two and three kids, more than one baby mama, and he's very into you. There's only so much into you or so much he can give you, no matter how much into you he is. And you need to be real with yourself when you get into that situation. He might be able to take you on trips. He might be able to whatever. But you're still going to be sharing him. That's just the facts. That's just the facts. So... To kill your mate because of some shit you knew from the beginning is insanity. You know what I'm saying? It's motherfucking insanity. And fellas, we got to quit giving these women the right to just do whatever because they are angry. The police let them do whatever because they are angry. We let them do whatever because they are angry. They daddy let them do whatever because they are angry. And they mama been letting them get away with all type of shit because she was angry. So we living in a world right now where a female's feelings is more important than the facts of any case. And all of these females feel justified in whatever they do because they feel a way. Hell yeah, it's wrong. It's beyond wrong. It's beyond unfair. You give all the power to these females 
and all the accountability to men. But you got men got to be men having to be accountable for decisions that they didn't get the opportunity to make. And under these circumstances, we got no choice but to be enemies. It's not like we have a cultural fabric where genders know they role, place, and position in the movement. And every time we try to establish that, it is derailed. So what I want to say to you is save your own house. Save your own relationship. Save your own self. And if you got to let it go, it's perfectly fine to love somebody from across the street. You may even have a better relationship. You know, I'm making it my business. I'm making it my business to not have any any animosity toward anybody that I love. You know why? Because I'm going to love them tomorrow no matter what happens today. So it's stupid for me to get wrapped up in my feelings or get all in my body because somebody I cared about did some bullshit. Because I'm going to care about them anyway. And there's nothing you could do about the people that you love. Shit, it's nothing you could do about the people that love you. But enjoy it. You know what I'm saying? Enjoy it. Because that enemy shit is coming. Believe that. And I don't necessarily... I'm a businessman. There are no permanent friends in business. There are no permanent enemies in business. To me, my every relationship is business. So somebody fucking up or fucking off don't make them my permanent enemy. And somebody doing right don't make them my friend. But all of these things make everybody who they are. And you remember that shit. I'm Wano. Wano. Like a Mexican. And we out this bitch, man. You know what I'm saying? Yo. Lastly, man. A lot of us are loving people who don't love themselves. And if you loving somebody that don't love themselves, I'm not going to tell you to take your love away. But I, what I am going to tell you to, is, to do is protect yourself. Because if somebody don't love themselves, what they'll do to you without knowing they harming you or even considering they harming you is unimaginable. And I want to share something with y'all. Power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And they have given women, women, they have given women absolute power. Am I a hater of that? Nah. But what I do know is this absolute power is going to corrupt y'all to the, to the floor. Because now you're about to see a lot of black women going to jail. Don't say I ain't told you. Don't say I ain't told you. Y'all better chill it out. And they didn't give y'all the power over the kids. They didn't give y'all the power over the police. They didn't give y'all the power over us. And now they about to knock y'all down. And there's nobody to protect y'all because shit. <laughs> y'all done made yourselves our enemies. And every day you wake up choosing to continue to be an enemy of the man that's here to protect you. And we out.